Octavio Paz, the Mexican Nobel laureate, a cultural icon, a poet beyond praise, came to India and the result was a fascinating discourse on India's landscape, culture and history. During his Indian sojourn, Paz visited monument to monument, destination to destination. For him, it is attractive and sensational. Quest for exploring the religious, cultural mosaic of India led Paz to the tombs of Amir Khusro and Nizamuddin Olia in Delhi. Fond of Sufi devotional music, he often visited these dargahs. Paz's pilgrimage to India drew a full circle with his visit to the Elephanta Caves in 1985. Victoria Ocampo, the great lady of Argentinian literature, whose literary work went beyond geographical, linguistic and cultural barriers. Victoria's youth was a time of loneliness, to fight, which she sought refuge in a domain of writers. It was during this time, Tagore's Gitanjali came into her hands. It moved her deeply and in 1924, she wrote an essay, The Joy of Reading Tagore. Only a few days after the essay was published, Victoria came face to face with Gurudev. The sojourn that lasted two months was a time when they exchanged their views and ideas. The encounter resulted in her incessant quest for the Orient. The meeting of minds made her a lifelong friend of India. During his stay, the poet penned down 25 poems, all of which are a testimony of the feelings that they shared. Victoria founded the prestigious literary journal Sur, which she edited till she breathed her last. A poet a diplomat and the 1971 Nobel Laureate for Literature is known as Poet of the Masses. Born in a small town of Chile, Pablo Neruda moved to Santiago to train as a French teacher. He started writing poetry at a very young age. In Santiago, Neruda was introduced to Tagore's works and was so influenced that he translated one poem of Tagore in his famous book, The Twenty Love Poems and a Song of Despair. Neruda visited India for the first time in 1928. The occasion was the session of the All India Congress Committee in Calcutta. Neruda closely watched the festivals, rituals and the rites of India. Cecilia Merrilies, one of the finest voices of Brazilian poetry and perhaps the greatest poetess in Portuguese. Since her youth, she was deeply attracted to India. Born and brought up in a cosmopolitan atmosphere of Rio, Cecilia's exposure to the idea of universal brotherhood is reflected in her writings from the very beginning. Her lyrical harmony represents one of the best organic assimilations of Indian thoughts in the Latin American tradition of literature. Merrilies traveled extensively throughout India and captured her reminiscence in an anthology of 60 poems called Poems Written in India. On her Calcutta sojourn, she writes, no Westerner should escape visiting if they do not want to die without having a complete vision of life. 